How's it going everyone? Greg Jenkins here from Monkey Pod Marketing. In this short video, I'm gonna break down a campaign that I have built using Plus This to drive and encourage engagement in one of my virtual courses. So my focus with Monkey Pod and all of the things that I do here is education, specifically education for entrepreneurs and even more specifically education for Infusionsoft users. The goal is um, to teach people how to get more out of the tools that they're already using. And Infusionsoft is a tool, right? And plus this is a tool as well. And the more you know how to use or understand either of those, the more powerful they become. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I've used plus this and specifically the video tracking feature to measure key increments in my video courses so that as people are engaging with them, I can deliver additional resources. Or if they're not consuming the whole video, I can follow up with them and ask questions or motivate them to continue following through in that course. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so the course we're gonna be looking at here is the LCM Real Life Course or Life Cycle Marketing in Real Life Course. I think most people are familiar with the basic concepts of life cycle marketing, but I find that a lot of people get stuck when it comes to translating those concepts into actionable real life strategies. So the whole point of this course is to take it from being theoretical to being practical and to being live and impacting your business rather than just being good ideas that you hope to do someday. So there are three core modules, right? There's the attract component, and then there's the uh, sell piece, which is the middle part of life cycle marketing. And then finally, there's the wow component, which is the third aspect of life cycle marketing. And each of these courses or each of these modules are about an hour long, okay? So what I've done is built three different uh, plus this features, their video tracking features to measure um, the three different pieces of this course. So attract, sell, and wow. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. And you could look at any of these. They're all gonna be set up fairly similarly. But the goal is to apply a tag if they watch 50% of the course, and then apply another tag if they watch 100% of the course. And so this course is about 50 minutes long, or this module is. So I've got a, a tag here at 25 minutes, and then another tag if they make it to 45 minutes. The last five minutes or so are just wrap up. So I'm just calling the 45 minute mark my 100%, okay? And then I've done the same thing for the other two modules, just implementing a tag at the 50% marker and then another tag at the 100% marker. Now, if you don't do any automation with this, just knowing how much of your videos or how much of your course people are actually consuming can really do a lot for you. And being able to use those tags to segment your groups or your customers to speak to them differently based on what you know they did or didn't consume can really be quite valuable as well. So let's take a look in Infusionsoft how I'm using those tags to trigger and start and stop this campaign. So here I've got the attract 50%, right? Remember the course goes attract is the first module, sell is the second module, and then wow is the third module. So attract, if they watch 50% of it, it starts here. If they watch 100% of it, it jumps them to here. If they start the sell module and they watch the first half of that, it'll jump them to here. If they watch the complete sell module, it'll jump them to there. And if they watch half of the wow module, it'll put them there. And if they watch the entire wow module, it'll move them all the way to the end down here. So basically what I've done is built a system that I hope I don't have to use. Right, my goal is somebody will sit down and just watch all of these courses. That's what I'd love to happen. So they would just achieve this goal and then they would immediately jump to this one and then they would jump to this one and to this one and to this one and to this one. So that's the ideal track that I would like customers to go down. I'd like them to just hit those different benchmarks right in a row, uh, one after the other, you know, as they go through the course content. But, you know, my course subjects, my, my customers are humans and you know, as such, humans get distracted or, or they need to take a break or you know, something comes up and they have to reprioritize their day. So oftentimes people don't finish the entire module or if they do finish the module, they don't start the next module right away. So what I've done is I've built these sequences to be what I consider safety nets, to follow up with people if they start the first one but don't finish it. Right, So that's where this piece comes in. 
or if they finish the first module, but they don't start the second one, they'll be stuck in here, right? So each of these um, sequences becomes sort of a safety net. So if they stall out or if they you know, fail to move on in terms of progressing through this course, this campaign is gonna catch those contacts and drive them towards the next milestone. So let's take a look at what that looks like. For example, if somebody watches the first part of the attract course, right, through the 50% marker, they'll get this tag. But if they don't finish the course, then they won't get this tag. That means they'll be stuck right in here. So what I've done is I've built a 30 minute delay and then there's just an email that says, hey, finish that LCM attract module. And it says it in nicer words, but the, the reminder is, hey, here's why you bought this course, right? It's really valuable, I hope you're enjoying it, and it gets better from here, jump back in when you're ready to continue. So it's just a really simple reminder for them, hey, go back, the course content is waiting for you, he, uh, you can pick up right where you left off, right? And the reason I selected a 30 minute delay is because I know that the course is only an hour long. If you recall, that one was 50 minutes long. So the first benchmark was at 20 minutes or 25 minutes, and then the next benchmark was at 45 minutes. Well, 30 minutes gives them enough time to watch the remainder of that course, but if they haven't achieved that, if they haven't um, received that next tag by the 30 minute marker, then I know that they're no longer watching the course or they've taken too long or they've paused it and walked away. So that's where that e email shows up in their inbox reminding them to move on. Now, I'm not, I'm not insisting that people watch these back to back to back. So um, for the for the other ones, right, if they finish the attract module but have not yet started the sell module, what I've done here is waited two days in between. So if two days go by and they haven't picked up with the second module, I know that they have completed the first one but something got in the way and they haven't carried on. So uh, now I've got an email here that just says, here's the sell module. It's the second part of life cycle marketing real life and you know here's why it's important. It's you know it works in tandem with these other pieces. Um, it's important because you're building a relationship with your prospect over time and so you want you you want the ability to ask them for a sale in a way that feels natural and relies on the rapport that you've already established. So that's kind of where this email is coming from and it links them right back to that course as well. If we move on, you'll see that there's another email here uh, driving them to finish the sell module, and then if they finish that piece and they don't start the wow, there's an email driving them there. Uh, now remember, this could be annoying <laughs> if they get all of these emails, but the goal is if they watch this course through to completion, they're not gonna receive any of them. That's really just my fallback to prevent people from slipping between the cracks, to follow up with them and to encourage consumption. Right, so that's the way I've structured this. You might choose to do it a little differently based on how your courses are broken down or based on what you're measuring, but think about the, the core element or the core benefit of this feature is we're tracking how much of our videos people have consumed. And by just by simply having that information, it allows us to do so many different things in terms of how we communicate with our prospects. So you might not choose to implement it exactly the way I have, but using this plus this feature, the video tracking feature, really enables a lot of other ability that you wouldn't otherwise be able to natively do with Infusionsoft. Now, the final piece to this campaign is if they get that wow 100% tracking tag, I know that they've completed the third and final module of this course. So basically what I'm doing there is I wait 95 minutes, okay? So just a little bit after that course, about an hour and a half after they complete the course, and then an email shows up in their inbox with my recommended next steps for them. So I've got a variety of courses and I also have a Monkey Pod membership program. It's my OG membership program. So if they are an OG, right? If they're already an OG member, well, I just recommend, hey, go check out my other courses. So that's where this sequence comes in and it says, hey, I'm recommending that you go pick out one of these courses and continue the learning or the education process, check out the courses, right? There's my call to action there. Now, if they are not a member, if they're not already an OG member, then what I'm gonna do is recommend that they join the OG membership. And the reason I've branched these out into two separate lines is because I'm gonna speak to people who are members and people who aren't members differently, right? I'm not gonna recommend everybody sign up for the membership because if they're already a member, I don't need to continue doing that. So that's another reason why I have this decision diamond after the 95 minute delay. 
because I wanted to wait 95 minutes and then right where they are at that point, if they are or are not a member, I'm gonna either recommend courses or the OG membership. But if you put your timers in those sequences, then the decision doesn't happen immediately before the email, it happens before they enter that sequence. So if they sign up as a member during that 95 minutes, and I know it's a long shot, but if they were to sign up, well, I wanna make sure that they get routed into the appropriate sequence, recommending the appropriate topic and not suggesting they buy something they've already consumed. And then of course I have an additional purchase goal down here, so if they buy courses or the membership, right, this is just listing for any purchase, it'll draw them out of that process. So no matter where they were, no matter what was going to be recommended, if they make an additional purchase during that 95 minute window, I don't wanna email them another recommendation. So um, this structure is for one of my courses. I do have a variety of them. And I'm gonna set up similar tracking using the video tracking feature so that I can drive people through the courses, help them complete the courses, and also deliver valuable resources at certain benchmarks and increments throughout the course content. I hope you found this useful. I hope this spurred some ideas for how you might continue to use Infusionsoft and plus this in tandem to better support your own customers. Take care.